Milk sharing is an ancient practice, but would you believe it's becoming popular in America again? Hundreds of moms are sharing milk right here in Alabama. Through the power of social media, moms like Kristen Wyatt and Amber Willenbrock are able to feed their babies breast milk. This milk is not their own. It's donated from mothers like Elizabeth Mattioli. While Wyatt and Willenbrock say they can't produce enough, Mattioli has plenty to share. Would you encourage other mothers who have an excess amount to do the same thing that you're doing? It feels good to be able to share because I feel very blessed to be able to do that. This gives you a feeling of significance and you're just doing something small. Willenbrock says her baby thrives on human milk. I've been lucky enough to get two donations that have lasted. Wyatt says her baby was premature and started life drinking donor milk. Tell me how your friends and family react. The reaction has been more positive than negative. To me, it's normal. There are some people that think it's kind of strange. You know, just because it's not a normal thing that you hear about all the time. Both Wyatt and Willenbrock say they never buy milk online. The only milk they will take is donated. They both say they have their own ways of checking out the donor mothers and always pick up donations in person. I knew her kind of well enough to know that there weren't going to be any. There weren't going to be any problems. I kind of do like a, you know, like a mini background check for me that makes me feel comfortable. While all mothers want the very best for their child, pediatric doctor Rooney yeah. Tom says the risk with giving your baby another mother's milk outweighs the benefits. We do live in a world where there are viruses or bacteria or fungus everywhere. There's always a chance that certain viruses, bacteria can be present in the breast milk. He says women with the best intentions can unknowingly transmit serious diseases. We don't know how that milk has been handled. We don't know how that milk has been collected. Um, so yes, there is a high risk for contamination. Board certified lactation consultant Sylvia Edwards says if a mother is having trouble producing enough milk for their child, they should contact the hospital where the baby was born and set up an appointment. The thing that makes the big difference in whether they're going to have adequate milk for their baby is what they do very early on. Dr. Tom says women should only use donated milk that has been tested and treated. Before now, women in Alabama have not had any local safer options. It's a special gift that only moms can do. The Community Food Bank of Central Alabama will house a Mother's Milk Bank of Alabama. It's set to open in August. This is the first nonprofit milk bank in the state of Alabama. The donations will fill the needs of NICUs first before donating to full term babies in need. I would encourage moms that have extra breast milk to donate to the critically ill and sickest of the babies. Dr. Toms hopes that mothers like Maddie Ole will donate enough that the bank will quickly supply all mothers who want a safe way to feed their baby. So would you feed your child another mother's milk? Tell us on Facebook, Twitter, and on our WIET.com poll. You can find that right on our homepage. Lillian Lalo, WIET 42 News, coverage you can count on.